When you get older, you start to outgrow things. Whether it's relationships, certain hobbies, or in this case, TV shows. Obviously, no one will expect you to like the same thing you liked when you were six, when you're in your 20s. That's why I think it's extremely hard to make a kid show. Because they have to constantly adjust for the next generation, the next generation, etc, etc. Shows like Sesame Street and Arthur have done phenomenal jobs throughout the years on adjusting to fit their audience by touching on social cues and other controversial topics. But there's a couple under the radar shows that are still going strong. So today, I'm going to show you guys some kids shows you probably didn't know are still airing new episodes. Enjoy. Max and Ruby is an animated series revolving around two sibling bunny rabbits and their adventures through life together. The younger brother Max usually gets himself caught up in small messes and Ruby has to get him out of it most of the time. This one really hits home for me because I was a die-hard fan of the show when I was a kid. Me and my brother used to glue ourselves in front of the TV while watching this. I actually was watching TV a little while back and seen some of their newer episodes, and was pretty surprised. They seem to have stuck with the same formula they used back in the day to gain popularity and it seems to still be working for them. Choo Choo So is one of those vague shows that you kind of remember and just kind of don't. It's like one of those shows that you bring up to your friends and it's sort of like the Mandela effect because no one else remembers it but you. But no, it existed. This is proof. And even more surprising is that it's actually still airing. For those of you that don't know, Choo Choo So was a show about a singing conductor and her beatboxing dance partner. They usually performed with kids and played different types of music on a train. They're actually a real band that goes on tour performing in front of crowds of kids. This show was brought up a lot recently because people constantly kept thinking that the main character was Cardi B before she was famous. But anyways, in the Disney Channel era that had the Wiggles and the Doodle Bops, this show kind of fell through the cracks for me. Which makes it all the more surprising that it's still airing. I'm not gonna lie, I never watched Cyber Chase, so I don't really have much to say about it. Honestly, the only reason I know it's still airing is due to doing research for this video. It was a show I consistently flipped past, but I have a couple friends that actually do like it. I just couldn't look past the animation style, but PBS Kids is pretty much known for having low budget animation. But anyways, with over 100 episodes and 17 years under its belt, obviously some people love it. Peppa Pig is a British animated series revolving around the female Peppa Pig. Her brother George, her parents, and all the other animals that make up the town. Each family is a different species, including her friends, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, and Cookie Cat! He's a pet for your tummy! Uh, no. <laughs> Puppy Cat! No, Candy Cat. But lame jokes aside, this is still a very popular show amongst kids, and I respect the way it helps children understand different emotions and experiences. It's been airing since 2004, and it has been a big help to hundreds of kids growing up trying to figure out ways to deal with a lot of situations. There's not a lot of shows that connect with the younger audience the way Peppa Pig does, and that's probably why it's still finding success today. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Stay kind and stay wholesome. And have a great day.